This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and another topic of discussion for you guys to talk about. It's taking liberties with already established properties. Um, to explain this best, let's talk about what inspired this, which is the Sony TV show Powers, which is on the PlayStation 4 exclusively right now. Um, Sony probably should distribute it in other places, but eh, they're trying to build some type of PlayStation TV um, type thing, I guess. I don't know. Either Anyway, so I had never read the comic books for Powers, so I came in pretty blind. And when I saw the show, I thought it was cool. I mean, I'm not completely high on it, but it's early in the you know show's development. Um, I'm giving it a go. So far, it has some stuff in there that I really like. We'll see how it, you know, goes. It how it progresses as time goes on. Now, after watching the first three episodes, I decided let me look up some stuff and find out some information about the comic book. Cause maybe I want to pick up some of the comic books. Um, and I kind of learned a lot about it. A lot that. You know, I was not familiar with one being the comic book is 15 years old. The series started 15 years ago, which, you know, I, I dropped out of the comic thing so long ago, you know, back when I was in my late teens, early 20s, I dropped out of reading comic books. So I had no point of reference with this at all. So I was surprised to see that it's been around that long. Another thing that I was surprised to see as well was character design in some ways. Now, I had always known that Dina Griffin was originally a short haired a short blonde haired white woman, whereas in the on the show she's a short haired black woman. Now, one thing I didn't know character design wise was um Detective Walker, he was a much more Superman, Superman-like type build of a person. So, seeing Shalto Copley play that role is kind of funny because he's such a slight figure, you know, in comparison. So that was unique um, in a way. But the most unique thing was the storytelling. The storytelling is definitely rearranged for TV in a very extreme way because okay and I guess I should put the spoiler uh, I should put the spoiler um, what is it called damn I just drew a blank my spoiler message thank you before this anyway but one of the things that they've done is that they've completely rewritten the way that the whole story is going as in comparison to the comic books okay for those of you who haven't read the comic books i'm going to tell you to bow out in three two one and come back in about 20 seconds okay but one of the major characters retro girl is murder in the beginning and that's the entire focus of the beginning of the book solving that mystery of her murder so this character is not gone and the thing is I like it I like it that way because it gives a really good point of reference you know as far as relationship building for the show it's it's a really good element to have in the show and there's some other things i've read about some of the villains when they were introduced when they weren't and things like that certain characters smaller characters that you see showing up in the show that are kind of having um a more significant role than they did in the comic book i actually like that and i like the fact that they did that with this because it's the type of property that 
it lends that type of freedom to it because it's not the traditional comic book um it's not the traditional comic book type of design traditional comic book design from my standpoint are you create a superhero you give him an origin you give him a place of res residency you give him a rogue, uh, you know rogues gallery and you go from there you can develop this character you can give it life however you want but that's the main basis of it with the more modern comic books they're more structured around developing a unique story experience that includes a bunch of unique characters it's not about building this superhero you know giving you this image of this superhero throwing you know conflict his way now and then or her way now and then and just having the basic type of you know hero has to save the day type of thing these comic books these days are a lot more complex you know the hero doesn't always win people will lose their lives there are different elements that goes on that they try to capture it's like with this they're trying to capture a world where people have superpowers in a more realistic setting the had the public has their own subculture that is devoted to these superheroes some people who aren't there's you know an organization that helps superheroes fight crime. It, it's a lot more diverse and complex and by being that way it lends itself to be easily reimagined whereas I feel like with traditional stuff a la the way people aren't happy including me with what they're doing with the reboot of the Fantastic Four um, mind you I don't think it's gonna be a bad movie I hope it's a good movie because I like the Fantastic Four but I don't like the rewriting of the lore the re imaging of the you know characters because these characters the foundation of that property was built on the way that the original creators defined those characters whereas I feel like a thing like powers or wanted I uh, mentioned I think before in another video they're all built on a premise and not necessarily built on the back of a particular character or a particular set of characters and you know their their story it's not necessarily just focused on their it, it's a larger scope it, it's a more world engulfing type of point of view that these comic books do now very they have topics or they have you know social messages that they want to carry about that can go beyond the character itself so when you change the fact that Dina was white now she's black when you change the fact that you know Diamond was a huge hulk of a man but now he's not when you change the fact that you had a character die early in the stage that you're leaving around for a good a, it, what appears to be a good while in the show to develop some character it makes sense because you're not locked to that lore and it, it, it it's a very good I think it's a very good thing that they've done and I just wanted to discuss this with you because I want to know how you guys feel about changing character backgrounds and lords where do you draw the line because again I mentioned the Fantastic Four also you had people go up in arms with the Ghostbusters things like that so I'm curious to see how you guys feel I think for me again as long as the material lends itself to that type of freedom I have no problem with it but when you have a rigid set order it's kinda hard to swallow because you have to be extremely you know you have to be off the chain with your execution to make people buy into this new world that you develop for something that has been 
deeply rooted in its origins whereas again with powers the it's the premise of a world with people with powers and there's a police department that helps police them and you get to see how powers interact with normal society how society perceives them and things like that that's a premise that you can take in so many other directions in my mind but anyway um that's all i wanted to talk to you guys about please let me know how you feel about that as always hit me up let me know what you think and i'll holler at you later it's your boy black makers and i'm out deuces